In this video, I'm going to be rearranging equations uh, where the subject appears on both sides or more than once uh, in my original equation. So if I look at the first one, I've got h plus x equals 4 plus ax. And I want to make x the subject of that. So at the end, I want to get x on its own. So the first thing I need to do is I notice I've got two x's. So I'm going to try and get them on the same side. And while I'm getting them on the same side, I'm going to get everything else on the other side. So, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this plus x. So how do I get rid of plus x? I subtract x. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to do that from both sides. So, I end up with h on this side equals 4 plus ax minus x. And of course, I can't do anything with these at the moment. I can't collect them because one of them's an ax and the other one's an x. And now I'm going to get rid of this 4. Now I know that that's plus 4, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides to get rid of it. So that's going to be h minus 4 on that side equals ax minus x on that side. Now the next thing I need to do is look at this side because I've got an ax minus x and I can immediately see as I've got an x in both of them that I can factorise and by factorising I'm going to take the x out and then I'll end up with just the one x. So on this side is going to, it's not going to change, it's going to stay the same. And then on this side if I take x out then what do I multiply x by to give me ax? Well, that's a. And what do I multiply x by to give me minus x? That's minus 1. So now I have just 1x. So what I'm going to do is because I'm multiplying my x by a minus 1, I'm going to divide by a minus 1 to get rid of that a minus 1 and get my x on its own. So if I do that to both sides, Sorry, my pen's running out. Then this side is going to be h minus 4 divided by a minus 1. And this side is going to be x because the a minus 1s will cancel out to give you 1. So that is my rearranged formula and I'm going to rewrite it the way I like it. So x equals and then h minus 4 over a minus 1. So that is our original equation, rearranged to make x the subject. Now if I look at this example, I've got t equals x plus 2 divided by x minus 3. So again, I want x to be on its own. But I've got a problem because at the moment, I've got x in the denominator of the fraction. So what I'm going to do is bring that, multiply by that denominator, so I have end up without a fraction because I'm currently dividing by it. So if I multiply both sides by x minus 3, hopefully that will get rid of my denominator. So that means on this side I'm going to have t times x minus 3. Remember, try and keep your equals in line if you can. And then on this side I'm going to be left with x plus 2 because um, x plus 2 over x minus 3 times x minus 3 cancels out just to give me x plus 2. Now I'm going to multiply this out. So I end up with t times x is tx and t times minus 3 is going to be minus 3t and that equals x plus 2. I'm then going to rearrange it because I want to get my x's on one side and my other things on the other. So let's this time get rid of this minus 3t first. So to get rid of minus 3t, I'm going to plus 3t. And I'm going to do that to both sides. So I end up with tx on this side. And on this side, x plus 2 plus 3t. And then I'm going to get rid of this x on this side. So 
going to subtract it because I'm currently, it's currently positive. Oops, so subtract x. So on this side, I'm going to have tx minus x equals 2 plus 3t. Now, if I look at tx minus x, I can see that there's, in both terms, there's a common x. So I'm going to factorise my x out. And x times what gives me tx? Well, that's going to be t. And x times what gives me minus x? Well, that's going to be minus 1. And then this side's going to say the same. And then my last step is I'm currently multiplying my x by t minus 1. So I'm going to divide by t minus 1 on both sides just to get rid of it and to get my x on its own. So I end up with x equals 2 plus 3t divided by t minus 1. And that is my first equation rearranged to get x as the subject. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.